Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a little bit, hasn't it? Well, today we are, what are we doing? First, we are going to story time, but first I wanted to just tell you about my spring um, decluttering and organization. I'm going to be posting, uploading videos of the before and afters and just trying to go through my whole entire home. Um, so let me show you what we're starting with. I'm coming up with a list and I'm gonna show you the list, but I haven't finished it yet. But the first area that we're really starting with is my daughter Dakota's room. I just figured that those rooms, I know are not functional, they're not, they're, they're just too much stuff and they, it's more than they can take care of and it's just not functional. So let me show you. We have done a little bit in it, but it's still a disaster, but we're making progress. And if you'll remember, let me show you. Do you remember the video where I did my daughter's closet of totes and clothes? We still have that system, but it's not in this closet. Instead, it is becoming my pantry, which we will be doing an organization of that as well. But for now, I just am using this as my pantry and I'm loving it. So what we did with her, excuse me, dog. Okay, I know. I'm sure everyone is gonna be so shocked at how messy this room is, but. It's pretty bad. Anyway, but so we put the cubicle in here and she's, you want to show them? This is the PJ. This is church clothes. This is, what's this called? Like socks and leggings and her little bathing suit. Actually, this is for socks. Socks and unmentionables. And this is for church clothes. And we still need to kind this of organize is, it. But this cubicle. This is play clothes. Yes, has been used for many things, but we finally decided this is where it needed to be. We've got some shoes. Where's my hand? Shoes. Um, these stackable little bins are awesome. You can get them at Dollar Tree. And I need to get a few more. And then her dirty basket, which isn't in here, and it's really big and tall, just goes in it's the right corner there. right it's here. Right there. Okay, we'll put it where it goes. And then we have this basket over here for some other clothes I need to fold and put in there and keep. But there's her dirty basket. So my children don't have, like, a ton of clothes, and I'm really trying to minimize it. They don't need that much. I'm just going to wash what they have. Um, but anyway, that is this section. So this section of her room is looking pretty good and organized, but as I just showed you, we've got a lot to do. I've got trash bags in here. I've got the broom, the vacuum, and we're just going, we're going through this room. And so let me just kind of Let's see, let's show you, I can't even walk. This is this is just, and honestly it's my fault because I allow it to get to this point and the poor thing just can't keep up with it. And I know she'll be happier with less and things, everything having a place. So this is her closet. These are all her stuffed animals, which she loves each and every one of them. So this is a good place. And then we've got some folded blankets and then I'm gonna buy some children's hangers and I'm getting a phone call, hang on. Okay, so I had to take a quick phone call um, but anyway, that is where we're working on right now, and I'm going to show you pictures, and also let me show you, I've got some coffee warming up, but let me bring you downstairs and show you everything I am bringing to the thrift store this morning. Um, oh, ooh, there's not good light. What, love? I got $26. In Do my you? Wallet. That is, he's a rich man, let me tell you. Yep. Stay upstairs for a minute. Okay. My, this part of my downstairs is like my bedroom, bathroom, all finished. I mean, we want to upgrade it, but the rest is all unfinished. So if you see some stuff, it's just it's an unfinished basement. But anyway, we've got three big bags of clothes to donate. And then just some, like, pictures that I'm not using anymore. Yeah, even this. And um, so it always feels good to make a drop-off. So we're going to do that and go to the library. And we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we are... You see all that? It is negative six. I should have warmed up the truck. Anyway, it's gold. Um, I just wanted to quickly say, um, you won't see like a lot of cleaning in this video. This is me just kind of telling you what we're gonna, what you're gonna be seeing, what I'm gonna be doing. Um, and I just wanted to mention, um, I know for me, when I go to do a project, I wanna like knock it out all in one day. But for me, that's not a great idea because <laughs> I have all my other responsibilities and of course homeschooling and everything. So um, a wise, lady once told me just 15 minutes a day and I think that's a great rule and if you can do 30 minutes that's great maybe even an hour um, but I like that when I tell myself just 15 minutes a day that's better than nothing and I, I tend to be the kind of person that um, if I can't knock it all 
it all out in one day that I just don't do it. So it's better to just do a little bit. Please don't do that. Um, so that's kind of our goal. And I'm really excited to see how her room looks. I'm also really cold. You guys, it is freezing. Isn't it, guys? Yeah. It's cold. We're going to attempt to go to store time. We've been having a little bit of trouble with our tire. I'm hoping that it stays aired up. I'm going to just drive slowly down the road and then check it because we've had a few problems with that and it's just been a mess so anyway we are gonna go to story time and I'll probably do a little bit in Coda's room today maybe we'll see if we can get to some of that and video it for you I know we will I'm thinking today we're just gonna grab a trash bag and just throw away all the trash and that's just another thing just pick one thing to do whether it's organize all the stuffed animals go through the clothes just one part of it so anyway see you later Okay guys, so we are back home from story time. It was a great time. We got some new books, some more DVDs. Um, today's schedule is a little bit different. We're not having a full day of school. We're getting a lot of homework done, housework done, <laughs> I should say. My husband is not coming home for lunch. He usually does. They're, um, I think once a month they have like a, um, a meal for the whole workers of the city. Um, we live in a small town. So that just kind of frees me up. I don't have to have you know, everything tidied and food on the table exactly at 12. So I am going to take a good 10 to 15 minutes and start working in a room. I have a trash bag. Um, and I'm probably just going to work on this rug area so that I can get that cleared off and vacuumed and see where we get go from there. So I don't know where the best place to set you up is, but we'll do what we can. That's probably, it's probably good. Probably not the most flattering angle. So, Hi. let's see. I'm eating cereal. Probably focus on dirty laundry. Rainbow cereal. Hmm. So, I think I mentioned before this basket over here. I don't know if you can see it. It's going to be for like some of her coats. I know. Um, it's just a like nautical basket that I got from Walmart. It's like $18. And I'm just going to Mom. put like some hats, mittens, coats in it, things like that. Right here, this has coats in it. Um, See, this has coats in it right here. Oh, we want this one. This yep, that does have other stuff. She does have one bin. Let me show you here in just a minute. You can make your bed. She has one bin in her closet. Area, I don't know if I can show you. Thank you, buddy. So that is disgusting and that needs its own 10 minute tidy. She's got some chalk and then um, over there. And then in this bin right here is like some sweaters that are a little bit too big, but I wore them when I was little. And then of course her blankies and stuff. So I'm gonna make some piles and then I'll show you what we're doing with those. And I think we're gonna move this blue. I don't know if it's showing you this blue thing. I can never get my finger to point the right way, but it's really not needed in here and it'll free up some space. So let's get to it. Okay. So I am doing way more than 15 minutes today because it just worked out that I feel like I can give it some extra attention. So a few things here, this barn that she has, all of the pieces that go with it were scattered around the room. No kid is just going to pick up an empty barn and play with it. But if I find all of her pieces, and put it in there, she, she's gonna wanna play with it. Same with this sad castle. There's other pieces that go on top of it, the kings, the queens, the horses. I need to find all the pieces and keep them together and then see if she plays with it. If she doesn't play with it anymore, then it can go. But I have a feeling once it's all together, she will. Yeah, I will. Yeah, you will. All right, go on, go do what you were gonna do. I've got a trash bag here full of junk. Um, This, I've seen better days, but it could be used, so I'm going to put it in the giveaway pile. Someone else Before might want it. Book. It's a special book to buy. Oh, okay. Thank you. Special book. Dakota? Thank you. Go on. Yeah, I have to find two of Okay. Let me finish showing them. Um, I found, I have a pile for, like, hair stuff. This is all dirty laundry I have found. My balloon. Found a library book that doesn't belong in the bedroom. Sorry. Mm. Thank goodness it's still intact. So the bed is kind of where I'm compiling piles of stuff. Um, um, I'm getting groceries either tonight or tomorrow. And on that list, I've put more children's hangers so that I can hang up all of her 
pretty dresses and just maybe some extra coats and use that basket for something else. I don't know yet. Um, but we're making a lot of progress. This basket right here is for dishes, so I need to finish finding all the dishes and put it in there. Um, my, I'm just trying to make piles, and then I can tackle a pile, whether it's all the dirty laundry, like right here. Here's a big pile of just dirty laundry. And it's the, you found the king, put it with the castle. Boom, dirty basket. It's off the floor, it's off the bed. Um, she found a king. This is gonna be so good once it's done. These blankets right here. I found the wagon and the bed. You did? Good. Yeah. I'm gonna fold them and put them on the blankie pile right away. Um, it doesn't take long, but there are days where you can't, you just can't here. You wanna fold these blankies? We're making a pile of blankies and fold them. You just can't give it a lot of time. We started this a few days ago and it's just been 10, 15 minutes every day. And today I'm like, Let's do this and finish have, it so we can move on to the next project. I have one more piece to find to the puzzle. One yeah, more. she does. So, anyway, this is home economics. I, I consider this also a part of school. Um, we do um, this from time to time, and I think it's very important for them to, to decide to let some things go, to help clean their own room, to make it more functional. And it's so, to me, it's therapeutic. I like it. So, anyway... We're going to continue and then we'll show you our progress. My goal is to get the rug Mom. cleared off, not to push it into another pile across the room, but everything on the rug to be put in place or thrown away or donated, then vacuum that part of the rug, I the whole rug, and that'll be that'll be a good chunk. Good chunk to this room. Okay, guys. So, I don't know if you can see, but I am making a dent, making a difference. And I I don't know, I'll probably get a lot of like judgmentalness about this, but I have to go to sitting down watching Peppa Pig and I'm just going through things because I know what she likes and I know what she plays with and I know what she hasn't touched in months. And I also know what is just trash, even though she's in love with it. You know, it's just, some things have to go. And I know that she hasn't been able to play in her room for a while and that this is just gonna be so much better for her. So. I think it's okay for a mom to get in a room and be like, hey, some things need to go without them knowing. There are some times where certain things I will show her and be like, hey, which one do we use more? What do you think we should do? Um, that's just my take on it. Maybe it's wrong, but that's what works for us and I'm finally doing it. Look at what I have. Not to mention, I have two more bags downstairs of things throughout the whole house that I just now collected. I brought two bags, or three bags, no, two bags, I forgot one. I have two more bags to bring to the thrift store to donate. That is a lot of stuff, and I'm not nowhere near done. These are just trash. These are bags of just broken toys, gum wrappers, junk. So, this is gonna feel good to put away. And I'm going to finish, and in my next video, you will see the finished product and possibly what our next project will be. I'm going to continue in here. My goal is to finish this today. We shall see, and I will see you in my next video and show you the finished product. I hope you leave a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I hope that this encourages you to start decluttering and organizing as spring is in the air for most people. Maybe not us. We have a lot of snow and it's negative six out, but it is springtime <laughs> somewhere. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.